oh, there's just a sweetness that's coming off of this that, well, it's meat candy, right? And I'm gonna add it to my meat candy playlist. Candy bacon is super simple if you keep it that way. A lot of recipes will call for fresh black ground pepper. I like white pepper, and I'm just gonna sprinkle some over every one of these. And then I'm gonna go for some monk fruit. Now this is the monk fruit for uh, a replacement for brown sugar. Just kind of lay it in over like that. A lot of recipes will also call for brown sugar, but I have a lot of friends out there, especially Mrs. Dude, who are very, can only eat, are very, can only eat low carb. And this is about as low carb as you're gonna get this. Now the bacon needs to rest for about 10, 15 minutes to let that pepper and the monk fruit kind of blend in with the bacon. In the meantime, I need to get the pellet grill prepped so we can throw these down. Once the bacon is done doing its thing, kind of sweating it out, I just take this pan that is lined with aluminum foil. We're just gonna put our bacon across like this with the, the side up that's got our monk fruit and pepper. Take the extra and just brush it on like that. Now it's time to put it on to the pellet grill. Now I got the pellet grill sitting at 300 degrees. We're gonna put this bacon down into the pellet grill for about an hour, see where it comes out, maybe flip them after that hour, check them out, we'll go from there. All right. In all honesty, we're into this cook about an hour and a half, and the reason being is I ran out of pellets at about the 45 minute mark, refilled it, and continued on. I did show you a video that came out on Tuesday on how you can improvise in a situation like that, but I think it's time to take our bacon off of that pan and put it over directly onto the smoker, let it sit for about a half an hour. Need my trusty tongs. Now I'm still running at 300 degrees. I'm going to put these at just a bit of an angle. The reason why I'm doing this is because you can see all this, the grease on the bottom. Well, I want our bacon to have time to get rid of that grease that's on the bottom. There we go. We're gonna let this sit for another, eh, I'm not even sure if it's gonna be a half an hour, but then we'll be ready. See you in a moment. About 20 minutes has gone by, and I wanna show you something because this is really, really cool. If you can see this, this is this really super dark on top of that bacon. That is really just the, you know, the, the monk fruit that we put on top there, kind of caramelized like a sugar would. Just a beautiful color. The aroma, absolutely amazing. These are super hot though, so you gotta be careful. But boy, you can smell that, that sweetness that's coming out of it. It's, it's crazy. Ah, <sighs> super hot, can't wait to try these, but uh, th there's just a sweetness that's coming off of this that, well, it's meat candy, right? It, and I'm gonna add it to my meat candy playlist. That's exactly what this is, but it's low carb meat candy for those out there who are doing low carb, such as Mrs. Dude. All right, I'm gonna let these cool off for about 15 minutes or so, and then we're gonna give it a sample. This is rested for about 15 minutes. I can still get that aroma from this candied bacon. It's time to try it. Mm. It's definitely got five white Ukrainians written all over it. I really get that sweetness from the monk fruit that we use. And it tastes a lot like the brown sugar that we normally use. I get that bacon too with some of that white pepper. This is definitely worth making. In my opinion, 
You can go low carb or you can go full carb. Either way, you're not going to lose. But for those people out there who do like the low carb, this is an alternative and you can treat them to uh, uh, something nice that everybody else is eating as well. Talk to you soon, guys.